Dust off those thinking caps, it's time to get creative. Behold, the shrink ray. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fictional inventors from the movies. You may call me Captain Nemo. For this list, we're looking at fictional big screen inventors that have the savvy and know-how to build technically complex devices that we here in the real world can only imagine. According to this morning's sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. These scientists must invent a device or tool that can actually be used. Wonkatania. So mad scientists are gonna have to hold out for another list. And our apologies to doctors like Frankenstein as well. Also, spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. You will ruin everything. Number 10, Richard Data Wang, The Goonies. See Data drop by. If there's a message behind the Goonies, it's this. If you're gonna go on a quest to find a long-lost pirate treasure to get the funds needed to save your entire town from foreclosure, you're already done for. <coughs> that is, unless you've got a boy wonder inventor along for the ride. <coughs> Data provides the titular Goonies with a gadget to get out of any scrape or situation. In addition to offering his trademark one-liners, of course. Some guy up there told me I have super inventions. A worthy inventor, a worthy friend, and a worthy entry for number 10. I got a great idea, you guys! Slick shoes! Slick shoes? Are you crazy? Data! Number 9. Lewis slash Cornelius meet the Robinsons. Lewis? Lewis. This one's tough to explain without spoiling too much. Just know this, in Meet the Robinsons, a young inventor named Lewis, who strives for acceptance, is brought into the future by a newfound friend. What is this? Where are we going? To the future! Once there, he meets another brilliant inventor who gives Lewis everything he could possibly ask for, and teaches him and the audience that sometimes what we're looking for is actually within ourselves. That depends on you. Nothing is set in stone. You gotta make the right choices and keep moving forward. Yep, you guessed it. Cornelius is actually Lewis from the future. You don't look like a Lewis. You look more like a... Cornelius. Number eight, Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Next. Have you ever felt like you were too smart for your own good? If you have, then you know what Jimmy Neutron, the literal boy genius, feels like. Sense. All great inventions need a test run. Struggling for his independence and freedom, as well as the ability to fit in with kids at school, Jimmy Neutron is constantly reminded that he's out of place, and his inventions get him into more trouble than they're worth. Nice invention, Neutron. Too bad somebody already invented the bus. But his enormous brain comes in handy when he has to help his friends build spaceships to save their parents, finally showing his true value. Nobody eats my parents unless I say so! Number 7. Flint Lockwood, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. My name is Flint Lockwood. Another inventor whose creations cast him out instead of helping him to be accepted, Flint Lockwood lives on a small island that desperately needs a change. Everyone is going to love this. After years of eating nothing but sardines, Lockwood gives the people the Flint Lockwood Diatonic Super Mutating Dynamic Food Replicator, or Flitzendiffer. And I was about to invent a machine. What this vowelless acronym actually represents is a machine that converts water into food, allowing the people to eat to their heart's content. For a town stuck eating sardines, this is totally manna from heaven. This tastes but it's not all candy and rainbows and ice cream sunshine. When Bill Hader's Lockwood learns a valuable lesson about greed and overindulgence, he must use his inventions to put an end to the out-of-control food machine. Sorry, old friend. The kitchen's closed. Yeah! Number 6. Egon Spengler, The Ghostbusters Franchise This is big, Peter. This is very big. There's definitely something here. When souls start to come back from the dead, who are you gonna call? On second thought, why bother asking? A formidable scientist in his own right, 
Spengler uses his technical savvy to develop the tools that New York's finest and only Ghostbusters use to deal with the spirits wandering the streets. His inventions bust ghosts and save lives, in that order. Just don't cross the streams. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Number five, Emmett Doc Brown, the Back to the Future franchise. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. A lot of inventors have brains, but Doc Brown's got style, hence the DeLorean time machine. Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? He never made much of himself as an inventor until 1955, when he slipped off the toilet and hit his head on the sink and had a vision of the flux capacitor, the device that allowed the DeLorean to travel through time. This is what makes time travel possible, the flux capacitor. Now that's heavy. What's even more impressive is that when the machine becomes stuck after traveling back to 1955, he's able to engineer the car to harness the power of a bolt of lightning in order to send it back to the future. You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. At 88 miles an hour, he's leaving flames at the midpoint of our list. Number four, Wayne Zielinski, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I Shrunk the Kids. In a film for which the title, tagline, and plot are all exactly the same, Rick Moranis builds a machine to shrink things and accidentally, you guessed it, shrinks the kids. The adventure that follows is that of the four children who must now survive in their now tiny state, and their father who must fix his machine in order to bring his family back together. Why didn't I think of this before? Wayne, just like the movie itself, is sweet, wacky, and funny. Okay, he's got serious problems. Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Number three, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. In the worlds created by Roald Dahl, there is a thin line between magic and science. Lights, camera, action! So when Willy Wonka's secretive factory opens its doors to five lucky children, we see both through the eyes of young Charlie. Wow, what a boat! Oh, looks good enough to eat. Through the adventure, Charlie connects with the withdrawn inventor and his karma points pay out for all his previous hardships. Mr. Wonka? In turn, the kindness he shows Wonka allows him to have faith in something that he had all but given up on. And that's why you sent out the golden tickets. That's right. So the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. And me? Absolutely. What happens to the, the rest of The whole family. I want you to bring them all. Number two, Tony Stark, The Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before he was a philanthropist, he was just a genius billionaire playboy who invented and sold things that go boom to the U.S. military. All those breakthroughs, military funding, honey. It was after being wounded by one of his own weapons, however, that he had a change of heart and decided to make the world a better place. It's not a piece of equipment, I'm in it, it's a shoot. The glowing light in his chest is a miniature arc reactor, which not only keeps the shrapnel out of his heart, but also powers the Iron Man armor. That's because it's a miniaturized arc reactor. I got a big one powering my factory at home. I should keep the shrapnel out of my heart. With this high-powered prosthetic of sorts, he's able to join the ranks of Earth's mightiest heroes and save the world on his own from time to time. Before we analyze our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I have a present for you. By the time you see the need for my program, it'll be too late. And you will have lost two wars in one lifetime. Zero point energy. Yeah, I, I save the best inventions for myself. Number one, Q, the James Bond franchise. Morning, Q. Morning, Seven. Now, pay attention, viewer. Now, pay attention, please. We've seen James Bond get out of more scrapes than we can remember. And it's not because of his charm. Well, not always. Most of the time, it's thanks to the tools given to him by the quartermaster himself. Morning, Q. 
Sorry about the leg. Huh. Skiing? Hunting. Whether it's providing him with the gadgets hidden in his watches and the like. Rolex. Amiga. Or outfitting his Aston Martin with the latest in techno wizardry, Q is one of 007's closest allies. Behind the headlights, Stinger missiles. All he asks is that it be returned in pristine condition. Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Recently, we've seen a younger and fresher incarnation of Q, and we can't wait to see more of him. Every now and then a trigger has to be pulled. Or not pulled. It's hard to know which in your pajamas. Do you agree with our list? I don't believe this. Which genius inventor from the silver screen is your favorite? And what if I can't fix this? What are we gonna do? For more gadget-heavy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It is going to be so awesome.